So apparently, a pinch of pink salt in the morning water is now the new Ozempic. TikTok says it melts fat, boosts your metabolism, and may even help you find inner peace. Now, I just released a full video on how to use salt the right way, especially if you're a keto carnivore or just tired of feeling like a deflated balloon. And while I do think salt is a miracle mineral for folks on low carb diets, the real question is, can it actually work a similar miracle to help you shrink your waistline. Today we're asking, is the pink salt trick a legit fat loss tool or just another sprinkle of social media nonsense? Stick with me. By the end, you'll know rather this is worth a try or just worth a good laugh. Now, before we dive too deep into this Himalayan pool of hype, I want to point out I'm not anti-salt. Far from it. I literally made a whole video entitled Salt Loading and How to Know You're Doing It Right. It breaks down how important salt is when you're on a low insulin lifestyle like keto or carnivore. Fatigue, muscle cramps, constipation that makes you question your life choices. All of these can be helped by smart, intentional salt use. But what we're seeing now on social media, well, let's just say it's a salt bath and magical thinking. Here's the viral pink salt trick. You take warm water, Water, add a pinch or sometimes tablespoon of Himalayan pink salt, maybe toss in lemon juice, cayenne pepper, baking soda, honey, coconut water, and if you're spiritual, maybe even angel tears, whatever fits your vibe. And bam, TikTok claims you'll boost your metabolism, burn fat while you breathe, reduce cravings, detox your gut, banish bloat, and possibly transcend to another plane of existence. Listen, I'm all for creative drinks, but this one, it's a bit much, especially for a doctor. Let's bring this back to science. Salt, especially for low carb folks, is important. When insulin drops, as it should on keto or carnivore, the kidneys flush sodium like a broken fire hydrant. That's why you feel dizzy get muscle cramps, or experience what they call keto flu. That's not a detox. That's dehydration and electrolyte imbalance. Adding one fourth to one half teaspoon of salt to water can generally help you feel better on low carb. It can even mildly suppress appetite in some people, mostly by improving hydration and adrenal function. But burn fat like a furnace? I'm not sure about that. Salt doesn't drive fat loss, insulin control does, hormonal balance does, metabolic healing does, and spoiler alert, none of those come in a TikTok trend. Let's be fair. Could this trick help someone feel less hungry? Maybe. Could it improve digestion if you've been low salt or dehydrated? Possibly. But is it some kind of morning miracle drink? No. And here's where it gets risky. If you've got high blood pressure, kidney problems, heart disease, dumping salt into your water could actually be dangerous. Too much sodium can spike blood pressure or cause water retention, especially if your diet is still full of processed junk. And let's not forget the lemon juice in this mix. That acid can melt enamel faster than TikTok melts logic. That's why whenever consuming lemon juice, you should always consume it diluted in water. So please, if your morning routine gives you sensitive teeth and swollen ankles, it's time for a rethink. Now let's zoom out. Instead of chasing hacks, let's fix the foundation. The root cause of most people's weight struggles isn't a lack of pink salt. It's insulin resistance. It's poor sleep. It's chronic stress. It's mitochondrial stuck in survival mode. Fixing those, that's where real transformation happens. And yes, salt plays a role, especially for carnivores like myself, keto folks, and low carb veterans. But it's supportive, not magical. Here's how I recommend using salt. Feeling lightheaded or low energy? try one fourth teaspoon of high quality salt in warm water. On carnivore and noticing muscle cramps, up your salt and add magnesium. Traveling, bring Element, Redmond packs, or one of my favorites, Keto Chow Salty Capsules to keep your electrolytes solid. So it can support digestion, adrenal health, and hydration. It's a tool, not a trick. So should you try the viral pink salt trick? If you're generally healthy and curious, 
fine, try it, see how you feel, but don't expect magic. And don't swap it for a foundational lifestyle change. This isn't the miracle TikTok wants you to believe. It's a glorified salt lick with a lemon wedge. Here's what I recommend instead. Focus on real food, keep processed carbs and seed oils low, honor your circadian rhythm, support electrolyte balance with intention, not trends. And if you really want to learn how to use salt the right way, especially on keto or carnivore, check out my full salt loading video. I'll link it right here on the screen at the end and in the description below. If this video helped you dodge a TikTok trap, do me a favor, like, subscribe, drop a comment if you've tried the pink salt trick or if you plan to give it a try. Until next time, don't just follow the hype, follow the healing. Root cause, real results, always. Dr. Hampton signing out with a sprinkle of sodium and a dash of truth.